Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Unpro Pro here, and welcome to episode 5 of the Beginner Tutorials uh, series episode thing. And in this episode, I will be covering variables and switches, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to make a new event by clicking on the event layer, or by pressing F6, and right-clicking on the map, or pressing Enter when you click a random spot, or double-clicking. We're just going to make a new event, so this is going to show up. And uh, we are going to go to Control Variables by double-clicking anywhere in the uh, little empty spaces over here on the right. So, when you, s you see all this stuff right here that might be confusing to you, <laughs> uh, I will explain all, all of this. So the first thing uh, we are going to be going over is the variables here themselves. You can change the maximum amount of variables, which actually increases the size of the array. Um, you can increase to 5,000 if you want a buttload of variables. Uh, you can also name the variables here. We're going to name this GOLD. Golf. Same with gold. Um, click OK. So now we have a variable called gold. Or you can do a batch variable. You can modify certain variables. Variables 1 through that. You can modify all kinds of stuff that way. It's pretty cool. But for now we're going to do a single. We're going um, to modify the variable called gold. Now here you have set, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and then mod. Mod divides the pre-operation variable by the Mod works a little bit differently. I haven't really used it, so I can't exactly explain uh, how it works completely. But it does tell you how it works right there if you just hover over it. So we're going to go ahead and click on set, and I'm going to go ahead and explain what's here. Uh, there is constant, which means you can set it to a certain value. You can set it equal to another variable. You can randomize it so it equals a random number between 0, or whatever you want to have over here, and over here. You can also equal game data, which a butt ton of stuff here. So you can have it equal the amount of potions you have, or any other item. You can, you can have it equal the amount of uh, equipments, like weapons, armors, stuff like that, how, how much you have in uh, the inventory. You can also have it equal to an actor's level. Uh, so you can have level, EXP, HP, MP, you can have it equal to any one of these. You can also have it equal to an enemy's, if you're doing battle events, stats. You can also have it equal to a player's map X, map Y, direction, which is the direction he's facing, uh, screen X, and screen Y. You can also have it equal to a party member's ID, so that's good too. Or you can do other, which includes map ID, party members, how many members you have in your party, I believe, gold, steps, playtime, timer, save count, and battle count. Uh, or you can also do a script, so you can have it equal to something else that you do not have in here. Uh, say if you, writ your own, if you wrote your own custom script, you can have it equal to something that you put in there. Now I'm going to go over switches. So enter into control switches. Switches are actually quite simple, uh, but yet they are the most effective thing. One of the most effective things and important things in an RPG uh, that you make with RPG Maker. A switch is a way to tell if something is done or not. Say if you couldn't progress until you beat a boss. In the event, you, you would turn a switch on. So let's go ahead and name switch number one boss. And just like variables, you can control the maximum of them. So let's go ahead and name a switch boss. You can change it on or off. So then you can use conditional branches or you can use event pages to tell if, that, if the event has happened. And you can do that by using conditional branches like so. If the switch boss is on, then you can do stuff. Else, then you can do not stuff. So that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.